Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is October 2, Wednesday of the 26th week in Ordinary Time, and also the memorial of the holy guardian angels. The Gospel said, Unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Have a listen first and let me reflect on it after. But first... The first reading is from Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 1 to 8. In the month Nisan of the twentieth year of King Artaxerxes, when the wine was in my charge, I took some and offered it to the king, as I had never before been sad in his presence. The king asked me, Why do you look sad? If you are not sick, you must be sad at heart. Though I was seized with great fear, I answered the king, May the king live forever. How could I not look sad when the city where my ancestors are buried lies in ruins and its gates have been eaten out by fire? The king asked me, What is it then, what you wish? I prayed to the God of heaven and then answered the king, If it pleased the king and if your servant is deserving of your favor, Send me to Judah, to the city of my ancestors' graves, to rebuild it. Then the king and the queen seated beside him asked me how long my journey would take and when I would return. I set a date that was acceptable to him, and the king agreed that I might go. I asked the king further, if it pleased the king, let letters be given to me for the governors of west of Euphrates, that they may afford me safe conduct until I arrived in Judah. Also a letter for Asaph, the keeper of the royal park, that he may give me wood for timbering the gates of the temple citadel and for the city wall and the house that I shall occupy. The king granted my requests, for the favoring hand of my God was upon me. Responsorial Psalm The response is, Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. By the streams of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered that Zion on the aspens of the land we hung up our harps. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. Though there our captors ask of us, the lyrics of our songs and our despoilers urge us to be joyous. Sing for us the songs of Zion. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. How could we sing a song of the Lord in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. May my tongue cleave to my palate. If I remember you not, if I place not Jerusalem ahead of my joy, let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. Alleluia, alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you ministers who do His will. Alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel is from Matthew chapter 18, verse 1 to 5 and verse 10. The disciples approached Jesus and said, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that they are angels in heaven. Always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. Jesus said for us to follow the example of children, because they are still innocent. They have not been corrupted by thoughts, by our society. 
Children are meek and humble, and we should be like them in our meekness and humility. How wretched is your soul if you hurt and abuse the little ones who are like angels on earth. That's all for now. If you like these kinds of videos, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any future uploads. Have a great day and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.